Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm HexDSL, ignore that window. Um, we're here today to talk about HyperKey, which is a very cool free application, and its brother, which is called SuperKey, that's less free. Um, now what HyperKey does is the only thing it does, the literal only thing HyperKey does, is it remaps caps lock to a combination of keys. I know, you're like, why would you want to do that? Well, let me explain. So I press caps lock, and my computer thinks I've pressed Control, Option, Command, Shift, and you're going, Great hex, that's that sounds really good. good. Good work, good work, hex. Like, why do I care? Um, well, first of all, just the, the caps lock key is just pointless. If you read the history of the keyboard, the caps lock keys essentially wasn't supposed to be there. It was supposed to be swapped with control. Or was it right control? Anyway, it wasn't even supposed to be there. Like, like there's just a series of screw ups that made the caps lock key on the keyboard so big in a pointless place and totally useless. So remap it to something useful. It's like just a free key, right? It's just like this free key you can just remap, which is just great. And I've always used it for something else because I don't want caps lock. Um, but anyway, with uh, this key, this application remaps it to these, to these four keys. The reason for that is on Mac, it's very hard to find a combination of keys that the OS isn't already using for something or the application isn't using for something, but nothing uses that combination of keys. So my caps lock is now my hyper key and I can press hyper key and D to open my downloads folder. I know, amazing, right? You're like, whoa, um, that's pretty cool. Um, or I can press hyper key and S to bring up my snippets, or I can press hyper key and V to bring up Alfred's Paste manager, like Alpha Slipboard manager. Um, and basically, I can have HyperKey and any key on the keyboard to trigger something. I use HyperKey and back forward slash to, um, to bring up Todoist, which is my favorite to-do list application. I use HyperKey and other slash, backslash, to bring up the quick capture. Um, I use HyperKey and P to bring up my password manager. I use HyperKey and L to, to autofill my passwords. There's lots of things you can do here by just the virtue of having another activation key. And the best of all, it's totally free. Like it's free, it's just free. Um, but I liked it so much that I looked at buying the super key upgrade. Now the super key upgrade is not really cheap at £12.80. Now I always have, I'm always like this with, with when people are charging for a very simple application because this one person seems to have made it, Ryan, who makes elegant optimizations for Mac OS. Made some cool stuff actually. Good job, Ryan, if you're watching. You won't be watching. Um, Ryan, if you're watching, say hi in the comments. Be like, hi, I'm Ryan. I'll be like, hi, I'm Hex. And that'll be the whole conversation. We'll never speak again. Um, but I'll feel good about it for a bit. Um, anyway, uh, so £12.80 seems like a lot of cash. But at the same time, you think the developers working on their own and they're trying to make a living out of their apps, I'm kind of don't begrudge it. Like if it was like a tenner, I'd go, eh, just the same as I do at £12.80. So, you know. But like, I feel like it should be like a fiver. Like that seems more reasonable, but at the same time, cost of living, you know? So I don't begrudge £12.80. Anyway, what the reason I'm talking about this is it does everything that HyperKey does. Literally, HyperKey is literally inside it, right? But also it's got a bunch of other stuff. And one of the things that I have yet to use in a way that's useful but I love is going hyper key. So I go hyper key in A, and it brings up this box at the bottom called seek, right? And then I can I can type something and it points at it. And you're like, great. And then I hit enter and it selects the application and then clicks what I've pointed. So you can use it in a web page to jump your mouse around. Or you can use it in an application. Like if I wanted to click stop right now on OBS, I could just hit stop and it would point at it. Now, I'm not going to do that because that would be dumb because I'm recording. Um, but it's really cool to activate stuff. I haven't really used it, but I've also found it interesting enough that my brain knows it's there. And if it comes useful, I'll know. Um, but the other thing I have used, right, is this thing here. You can see it just right here. Can, can, you, can you see it right here? See this? Look. Quick press left or right input to have corresponding input here. So this means is if I want a parenthesis, right? So if I want a parenthesis, let's just bring up the seek window actually, I can type hello, right? And I can tap the left shift once. Boop. And I've got an opening parenthesis, an opening bracket. And I can type something and I can tap the right shift key once. And I get the closing one. I missed the key then. I literally just hit the desk. That was great. Um, or if I just tap them really fast, I can just do that. Um, and you're like, Hex, why do you want that? Well, 
that's amazing because if you're typing a lot of text, which I do, type a lot of text and I want parentheses, it's, I'm gonna have to go. So if I wanna open an open in parentheses, I'm gonna have to go shift and nine, right? So I'm pressing shift and I'm pressing nine. That's two key presses. Now I just go boop. I wanna close it again, boop. Boop, 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 boop. It's just, it's amazing. I used it a lot in Linux when I had a QMK compliant keyboard. Um, and then I used it when I didn't have a QMK compliant keyboard. I used uh, an application to do it. But it's something I just didn't do in Windows because it's too much hassle to set up. But the fact that it's just built into HyperKey, uh, built in SuperKey, is amazing. It's just amazing. One of the other things you can do is SuperKey plus delete is a backspace. Forward delete. SuperKey plus delete is a Max name thing's weird. It's the other delete. It's, it turns backspace into, it turns your backspace, you delete into a backspace or vice versa uh, by holding a super key. There you go. Um, and you can also remap control V to, to that as well for, for, for things. There's lots of little tiny tweaks you can do. I found it super useful, um, genuinely. Like I've genuinely found it like useful enough that I don't at all begrudge the fact I paid twelve pound eighty for it. I don't think I did. I'm sure I got it cheap in that. I could be wrong. Probably wrong. I bought a lot of applications that first week because I just felt like I needed loads. Had a great time. I went spend mad. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty cool. And if you just want a hyperkey, you can get hyperkey totally for free. And you you just click it and it just downloads and just run it and that's it. Um and then you can just tell it to auto run when you load up your machine and you can just rely on your caps lock no longer being caps lock, which I think is brilliant because fuck caps lock, you know? Just really. Anyway, thanks for watching. I've been Hex DSL. I will be back again some other time. Um if you like what I do, you can support me on Patreon. Um, or you can buy me something on my wish list. All these links are in the description below the video, but mostly you could just subscribe, say hi in the comments. That'd be lovely. That'd make me feel like it was worthwhile making the video. Um, don't tell me I should use Vim and, and, and don't go, oh Mac, because both these things they make me go, all right, pointless. Anyway, thanks, bye.